Hey, what's up guys, Scamfeef here, and welcome to this informed Quagly Roller review. I pretty much reviewed all the expensive guys, so I'm going to do some of the cheap guys now. And uh, as you can see, this guy is 15k, but look at his card stats, he's got 89 shooting. That is absolutely incredible for a low rated inform. 89 shooting on an 80 rated card, that is awesome. In 6 games, he's got 10 times and grabbed himself 3 assists. That's quite, quite an impressive haul to be honest, especially for such a low rated inform. But um, yeah, the main thing that stands out about him, obviously, that 89 shooting, which in-game is pretty incredible. He's a lethal striker, but um, his pace and dribbling, it's mainly his dribbling that does let him down, to be honest. But we'll talk about that more in a moment. Let's have a look at some of the in-game stats. As you can see, 86 attack positioning, um, which I agree with. His positioning in general is absolutely awesome. It makes up for the fact that he's, uh, he hasn't got the pace, so when he is in the right positions, you can definitely get a shot away, which is great because, as you can see, decent shot power at 91. Well, I said decent, that's incredible. 94 long shots, which is awesome, and 85 finishing, which is, is great. It really, really is some insane stats for a striker who is just 80 rated as his inform. He's got the 4 star weak foot as well, so you can pretty much shoot with uh, both feet, but I definitely found a lot more success with his right foot. Now, as we go into the clips, I'm going to tell you this right now. He doesn't score a bad goal. All the goals he scored for me were pretty awesome, to be honest. He's the sort of striker that you're not really going to want to run at defences with too much. But um, if you get some space with him, take the shot off because he is pretty damn lethal. And his shot, uh, 9 times out of 10, is very, very powerful. And the keeper does struggle to save it. Either saves it and uh, palms it into the um, way of an attacker or um, it's in the back of net. As you can see there, really nice footwork. Let's the ball roll through his feet and smash it in the back of the net to make it 1-0 in that game. And as I said, I go back to my point, he doesn't score a bad goal. Palacio places the ball through to him there, and boom, Quagliarella on the volley, makes it 2-0 with an absolute rocket of a shot. Um, the keeper's got absolutely no chance. As I said, for the third time, he doesn't score a bad goal, and you're about to see another one here. Vidal plays it back to him, and then look at this. What an absolute rocket that is into the far side of the net, top corner. What a screamer, what a finish from Quagliarella. Ball gets played to Asamoah out wide, chips it into the box and 5 foot 11, uh, Quagliarella is there to head it home. I keep having to pause to remember how to pronounce his name because um, yeah, it's a bit of a tongue twister for me. Anyway, good bit of footwork here. Um, his dribbling, I've got to say, isn't normally that good but do, uh, does show some good footwork there before smashing it into the back of the net past the hair. Ball gets played through to him again, showing a great attack position, but he is unlucky with this effort, and he does go ahead and hit the bar, and sadly he's not there for the rebound, and he did get a penalty, which um, obviously we have to dispatch with a chip, because as I said, he doesn't score a bad goal. All of his goals that he scored for me uh, throughout the six games I played were all pretty good. So overall, I'm going to give him an 8.5 out of 10. His dribbling for me did let him down, and he's that sort of striker that if he's on the edge of the box, you should definitely be taking the shot off with him. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you replace all, you won't enjoy him too much. And as few of you are going to ask, should you play him at centre forward? I didn't find his passing to be that great, but if you want to, if you wanted to be sitting back a bit for long shots, then yeah, give him a go. But overall, I'd definitely just keep him at striker, have him in a two-strike formation with uh, someone with a bit of pace. Anyway, guys, that is the end of the review. I hope you have enjoyed. Remember to leave a like, comment below which ways you'd like to review next. Have a very good day. Adios.